Welcome back to my channel and a special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen and this is Jen Clayton Beauty. We do everything beauty and makeup. My dog is flinging around her bone, sorry about that, including subscription boxes. And today we are unboxing one of the ones I personally subscribe to and pay for every single month. I do subscribe to the ones that I think are the biggest bang for your buck. And this one sometimes disappoints, but oftentimes doesn't, and that is Ipsy Boxy Charm. I never know what to call it. It says Ipsy on the front, and then it says Glam Bake Boxy Charm Icon Box Refreshments. So we're gonna call it Ipsy for the sake of today's video. And this is the September box. We should receive five full-size products. I was able to choose some of the products in my box, and this box costs me around $30 per month. So at the end of the unboxing, I will give you the total value of the box versus the 30-ish dollars that I paid for it. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not. Turn your bell on because I upload lots and lots of new videos every single week. I will link Ipsy down below as well as my favorite beauty boxes, all of the makeup that I'm wearing in today's video if you would like to shop this look, discounts to my favorite indie brands, and come follow me over on TikTok for more beauty and makeup. So let's jump in and unbox September's Ipsy. So we do get a little magazine. It really doesn't give us much information. I will pull up the app on my phone so I can let you know which items I chose, which items Ipsy chose for me based on my profile, allegedly. You do create a profile. They should be choosing things that you would want based on that profile. And then this little magazine basically just gives you some fun information on soft era makeup, as well as some things upcoming with Ipsy. So first, let's go over the products Ipsy chose for me. Again, you get five products total in your box. I was able to select three of them and Ipsy chose the other two based on my profile. I will tell you I did not love the choices again this month. That's been kind of the reoccurring theme is I'm not loving the choices, but at the end of the day, I'm liking the boxes that are coming. So the first thing Ipsy chose for me is from a brand I've never heard of. This is YC Collection, and this is the Neric Cream eyeshadow. Interesting. So I love eyeshadow. I don't typically use cream eyeshadow. All of the makeup I receive in my subscription boxes, we do testing new makeup videos. So we will be testing all of these out in a future video. Let me throw on my glasses to read the tiny print. All right, it says elevate your eye game with this versatile cream eyeshadow. Whether you're going for a subtle daytime glow or a bold nighttime look, this buttery formula delivers long lasting metallic pink color that's both weightless and crease resistant. So this retails for $21. Never. I would never pay $21. This also looks tiny. This is in the color Kindness. It is cruelty-free and vegan. It has only 165 reviews with a 3.4 star rating. That's not sounding so good. Uh, let's see. Not a big fan of liquid eyeshadows, but definitely love this one. Warm toned, a pretty color formula is decent. I really don't think the shade is for me because it's more warm toned. Why is this a power pick? I can get something like this for a few bucks at the drugstore. Overall, this box this month is not it. Not a color I choose for myself, but it's okay, I guess. So let's open this up. We will be trying this, like I said, in a testing new makeup. I am not a liquid eyeshadow girl, so I don't really know how often I would use this after that testing new makeup. It comes in this little metal tube. So I'm not gonna open this up yet. I will set this aside. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell's on because we will be using this in a future video. So the second item Ipsy chose for me is also makeup. So I very much appreciate that. This is actually from a brand I have heard of before. This is from the brand Eloise, and this is the Flawless Loose Setting Powder. Is this in translucent? This is in the shade Vanilla. This retails for $35. It has 250 reviews and a four-star rating. It's time to give those fine lines and pores the boot with this loose setting powder. We will see about that when we test this out. This stuff is like pure magic in a jar. Finely melt to set your makeup with a finish so smooth, it's like a soft focus filter to your face. So again, it has a four star review. This first one says, perfect shade for my skin, amazing, makes my face look very smooth and the packaging is elegant. We have another five star rating. I love this setting powder. At my age of 47, I have a hard time finding a setting powder that doesn't set into my wrinkles and look heavy. This is beautiful. So really all of the reviews at the top are all five star. 
This one star says wrong color. She was sent a deeper shade, but it looks like the reviews are pretty darn good for this powder. I am almost 49, so anything that's going to blur those fine lines and wrinkles, I'm here for it. Ooh, the packaging is really nice. Look at that. That's really nice. It even has a powder puff. So again, we'll be putting this on in a, new te in a testing new makeup. So these are the two products that Ipsy chose for me and they were both makeup. So that is actually a very good thing. Now, like I said, the choice items again this month were not my favorite. I had a hard time even finding anything I would want but let's jump, jump into what I chose for my box, starting with this product from Drunk Elephant. Now I chose this because I will use this, but also Drunk Elephant is a pretty pricey brand. And this is the Silk Amino Mega Moisturizing Masker. It retails for $30. It has 3,946 reviews with a 4.7 star rating. So that's really, really good. It says, looking for a deep conditioning treatment that strengthens, smooths, and softens your hair. You found it. Marula butter, sunflower fatty acids, and panthenol help replenish and seal in moisture while a fortifying blend of hydration boosting ingredients help restore shine and touchability and even the most unmanageable extra dry damaged hair. Now I have dry hair, so that is why I picked this. I also love getting hair products. Love dry Drunk Elephant is a brand. The reviews are really, really good. They're all five star. It says, I'm excited about having a choice that isn't makeup or skincare. Same girl, same. Love that there's hair care. Absolutely what my hair needed. I love this brand. I have a lot of their favorite products. Left my hair feeling so smooth. So I'm excited to try this out. Like I said, I have dry hair, so this is going to come in very handy. Next up, I chose another hair product because there was nothing else in this choice selection that I wanted. And really, I wasn't even that excited about this. It was kind of like the lesser of two evils. This is from Dry bar and this is the triple sec three in one texturizing finishing spray. This retails for $29. It has 252 reviews with a 4.5 star rating. This game changing finishing spray is here to give your hair the ultimate upgrade. Whether you need texture volume or just a quick refresh, this spray has got you covered, leaving your strands looking effortlessly gorgeous with every spritz. Like I said, it has really good ratings. It says this setting Spray smells so good, setting spray. <laughs> Finishing spray, it smells so good. I'm in love with the smell and it works great. Gives a little shine, holy grail of hair care. I'm obsessed. I picked this in my September box. I love this brand because their products never disappoint. Adds tons of volume and seems a little bit more like a dry shampoo to me. Smells amazing. So we have really good reviews on this. I can't really smell it, but I like Dry Bar as a brand, and like I said, this was the only thing in that choice that I really wanted. And the final item I chose was skincare. Now, there was zero makeup that I wanted in the choice item. So I'm glad Ipsy actually gave me two pieces of makeup, or I would have had none in this box. And this is from Ola Hendrickson, and this is the Banana Bright Eye Cream. Now, I've heard such good things about this, and this is a pricey product. This actually retails for $44. It has 823 reviews and a 4.6 star rating. This eye cream is nothing short of magical. The lightweight cream brightens dark circles both now and later thanks to the yellow tint and vitamin C. Smooths crow's feet, deeply hydrates, and creates the perfect canvas for crease-free concealer application. The reviews are really good. I've tried several Ola Hendrickson products now and they never disappoint. This eye cream feels and looks really nice under my eyes and I love that it helps with dark circles. I've been seeing a lot of buzz about this product and was looking forward to trying it and was not disappointed. It's been a solid two weeks and I'm noticing some improvement and brightening under my eyes. So really good reviews on this. Like I said, this is a pricey brand. I love a good eye cream. I'm almost 49 years old. So so excited to finally be able to try this. It doesn't have any scent to it. It is a little bit of that yellow tint, which cancels out darkness. Definitely, this was actually a choice item I was excited about. So let's quickly recap everything in my Ipsy for September. So we have the Ola Hendrickson eye cream that I chose, as well as the dry bar finishing spray and the drunk elephant conditioner. And then Ipsy gave me two makeup products, this eye color, which I'm not that excited about, but I am excited to try out this setting powder. So that is everything in my Ipsy box for September. Like I said, I'm always disappointed in the choices, but then when I get my box, I'm always like, okay, it's a good box. And I feel that same way about this one. I'm actually quite excited about this. Disappointed in the choices. Yes. Grateful Ipsy gave me makeup because I would have had nothing in this box. I'm excited to test these two makeup products out with you and use all this new hair care in my eye cream. So overall, is this worth the $30 that I paid for it? 
absolutely. I'll pop the total value here on the screen for you. So it's not a month of disappointment. I was always afraid when the choice items are awful that I'm gonna be disappointed, but this is another good box from Ipsy. So let me know down below, what do you think of my box? What did you get in your box? Let me know everything down below. And if you enjoyed the video, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe, turn your bell on so you never miss a future video. And don't forget to check out the description box. I will have Ipsy if you're interested in subscribing, as well as all of my other favorite beauty boxes. The makeup that I'm wearing today, if you would like to shop this look. Discounts to my favorite indie brands. And of course, come follow me on TikTok for more beauty and makeup. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.